Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, JDBC batch processing sample program. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, JDBC batch processing introduction video tutorial. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you'll understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Uh, the class uh, JDBC batch processes uh, main method. Uh, in main method, what I am doing is I am creating object of this class and uh, calling uh, add city information method. Uh, in add city information method, what I am doing is uh, I am registering uh, JDBC driver and driver manager using class dot for name method. Then I am establishing connection to the database using uh, driver manager. So this uh, driver manager dot get connection method will return the connection object. And once I get the connection object, I am setting uh, auto commit as false. Uh, by default, auto commit is uh, true. Uh, I have to make it false so that I can enable the transaction management. Okay. And I have defined uh, three SQLs. Uh, all three SQLs are uh, uh, insert statement, uh, insert into city, and uh, values I have provided. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, using connection object, I am creating the statement and I will get the statement object and once I get the statement object uh, what I am doing is uh, I am adding each SQL to the batch by calling uh, statement dot uh, add batch method okay so here you can see SQL 1 SQL 2 SQL 3 so all these uh, three SQLs are added to the uh, batch uh, then using uh, statement dot execute batch method I am executing all these uh, three SQLs in one shot and it will return the result as int array that I am iterating and uh, displaying here. Okay. And uh, if all these uh, three SQLs are executed successfully, then I am committing the transaction. If any one uh, SQL is not executed, uh, then uh, exception will occur. Uh, in exception block, I put uh, rollback. Okay. So if one of the SQL is uh, not executed successfully, then uh, all the transaction will be rolled back. Okay and also uh, in finally block uh, i am closing the statement and uh, connection object okay uh, i will run this program and i will show you the output uh, before that we will see the sql so the sql's uh, primary key ids are 5000 5001 5002 okay so i will check here so currently there are uh, no records are available uh, for 5000, 5001 and 5002. Okay. I will run this program. Uh, so program has executed. Uh, you can see the result here. And uh, now I am executing this uh, SQL. So you can see uh, all these uh, three records are inserted uh, successfully in the city table. Okay. Uh, now we will see how uh, transaction management uh, rollback works. Uh, before that, what I will do is I will delete the records uh, uh, which IDs are uh, greater than uh, 4099. Uh, so the IDs uh, greater than 4099 has been removed, and uh, you can see no records are available. Okay. Uh, now what I will do is I will make the third query wrong. Okay, so I will give uh, something. Uh, so the first two queries uh, are correct and the third query is wrong. Okay, now I will execute. Uh, uh, so you can see error has been occurred. Okay, so if uh, all queries are uh, successfully executed, then only I am committing the transaction. If uh, any one query is uh, not executed, then what I am doing is uh, I am rollbacking the transaction. Okay. So now what happens is uh, the third query is not executed properly. Uh, so the whole transaction is rolled back. Uh, so if I go and check in uh, city table, uh, those three records won't be inserted. Okay. So you can see uh, the three records has uh, not been inserted uh, because the third query is uh, not proper and uh, third query has been failed so all the transaction is uh, rolled back okay and uh, this is about uh, uh, jdbc batch processing uh, demo and uh, thanks for watching bye